Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to see how to create an online quiz. Let's move on to our video. Here it is. As usual, log into your uh, quiz.com ID as a teacher and click on create a quiz. Once you click on it, you have to give the name for the quiz and also choose the relevant subject below. I am giving the quiz name as science quiz hyphen grade 5. Once I finish the name, I am going to click on science and click OK. So the screen I get is here. I have to select on the multiple choice or checkbox or fill in the blanks or poll or open ended question. It's my choice where, on which question I should select. I am going for multiple choice question for the first question. So here's the screen that I appear. So we have to write the question in the box given. So I am typing on the first question. I mean giving the input for the answers as it is a multiple co choice question and giving the options for the question so you can see on the left hand side a tick mark so the correct option should be clicked upon now so the correct option here is die card seed so I click on the die card seed a green icon appears I can select on the timing for each question I'm selecting 45 seconds and giving save the question gets saved so if I need I can click on the image I can give the input as an image also or an audio I can select from the gallery or I can click give a link for the image so yeah, the first question is over so I'm giving save now so you can see the correct option with green color I'm going on to the next question give on the new question I'm giving as uh, fill in the blanks it's your option whether to give a fill in the blank question or multiple choice question or a poll or anything it's up to you it's up to the teachers so I just fill in the column where the question should be given. Once it is completed, I have to give the answer for the question. Just below you can see the option as answer. So pen down your answer there answer is roughage for the question that I given if you have any other alternate answers you can give in the alternate option and you can select the timing and give save I'm going for the next question as the checkbox question so I click on checkbox I get this as you shall type your answer here and also the question Type the question in the question box. It's very easy. My question is elephant is an omnivore so I'm giving it as true or false question so the first option will be true second option will be false obviously you have to select the correct answer that is on the left hand side click on the tick, tick box you can click on the image for example I am clicking on an image of a bee here that's what the image I have so I'm clicking on it it's for an example as it is for demonstrative purposes 
I click save you can see the image there click on the save option now once I finish clicking on the answer click on the save option you can see the image with the question there this is how it will look for the students now I am saving the quiz I have completed the quiz I given done and just for the sake I am giving an image there I select the language that is English grades that is from fifth to which standard you can give I am giving from just for the fifth standard so I am giving fifth to fifth I am giving it as public so that everyone can see it if it is private you can give it as private so only you can see it I click on the save button now so this is how the quiz has resulted in the questions has resulted in if you go down you can just see the questions that I have given just for an overview before giving it to the students so the answer is highlighted in green once you are ok you can click on the live button for the quiz to go on live click on the test button here so because it's a class test you want continue so this is the screen that will appear with the code you can either directly give the code to the students or click on the share via option to copy the link and give it via whatsapp or any email option just click on the copy link so the link is copied this is the code click on start so that the quiz gets started and the students can answer to the questions okay there are some more options that are available that will be given in the next video until i see you next time it's bye from anything and everything Thank you.